हाय गाइस आई एम डॉक्टर विनोद पंकज मिश्रा एंड यू आर वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पंकज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंग्लिश सो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम हियर विथ 200 हंड्रेड एम सी क्यूज ऑफ रिसर्च मैथडोलॉजी एंड मटेरियल्स इन इंग्लिश डियर फ्रेंड्स आई हैव कंप्लीटेड फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू सेवेंटी अप टू पार्ट फाइव दिस इज पार्ट सिक्स दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी यूजफुल फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम तो इसी प्रकार के क्वेश्चन के लिए प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कीजिए पंकज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंग्लिश तथा इसे ज्यादा से ज्यादा लाइक और शेयर करिए शुरू करते हैं हमारा आज का फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ मेजरमेंट इन क्वान्टिटेटिव रिसर्च इज दैट ऑप्शन ए इट अलाउज टू डेलीनेट find differences between pupil or cases option b it provides a consistent device or yardstick option c it allows for precise estimate of the degree of relationship between concept and option d all of the above so option d all of the above is the correct answer now question number 79 the difference between measure and indicators is that option a measures are unambiguous quantities where as indicators are devised from common sense understanding option b indicators have more direct relationship to the underlying concept than major option c majors are intuitively devised and then applied as if they were direct indicators of the concept and option d indicators are unambiguous quantities whereas measures are subjective and value laden so the correct answer is option a majors are ambiguous unambiguous quantities whereas indicators are devised from common sense understanding now question number 80 the split half method is used as a test of option a stability option b internal reliability option c inter observe consistency and option d external validity external validity so the correct answer is option b internal reliability option b is the correct answer now question number 81 which of the following is not a form of measurement validity which of the following is not a form of measurement validity option a concurrent validity option b phase validity option c conductive validity and option d convergent validity so the correct answer of this question is option c conductive validity now question number 82 quantitative research re researchers rarely claim to have established cause causality because option a they are more concerned with publishing the result of their reliability test option b they do not believe that this is an appropriate goal to be stri striving for option c they keep forgetting which of the variables they have manipulated and option d they tend to use cross sectional designs which produce only correlations so the correct answer of this question is option d they tend to use cross sectional designs which produce only correlations now question number 83 one of the question number 83 one of the pre occupations of quantitative researchers is with generalization which is a sign of option a external validity option b internal reliability option c external reliability and option d internal validity the correct answer of this question is option a external validity option a is the correct answer <coughs> now question number 84 quantitative research has been criticized because option a the measurement measurement process suggests a spurious and artificial sense of accuracy option b option b the reliance and instrument and procedure make it high in ecological validity option c it and it uh, underestimates the similarities between object in the natural and literary worlds and option d all of the above 
all of the above so the option a is the correct answer the measurement process suggests a spurious and artificial sense of accuracy now question number 85 the term reverse operationism means that um, these five options are here the option a the theories we devised will often hinder our attempts to measure concept option b the measurement we devised can sometimes help to develop a theory option c techniques such as factor analysis have no place in research and option d driving instructors always make you practice the most difficult maneuver so the correct answer of this question is option b the measurement measurements we devised can sometimes help to develop a theory now <clears throat> these questions are very useful for competitive exam so listen as much as you can now question number 86 written accounts of quantitative research rarely include the result of reliability and validity test because option a researchers are more interested in reporting their operational definitions option b option b researchers don't really think that these tests are important option c journal editors have banned these kinds of articles and option d option d researchers are more interested in reporting their substantive findings so the correct answer of this question is option d researchers are more interested in reporting their substantive findings now question number 87 now question number 87 a sampling frame is <clears throat> a sampling frame is option a a summary of the various stages involved in designing a survey option b an outline view of all the main clusters of units in a sample option c a list of all the units in the population from which a sample will be selected and option d a wooden frame used to display tables of random numbers so the correct answer is option c a list of all the units of population from which a sample will be selected option c is the correct answer now question number 88 a simple random sample is one uh, in which option a from a random starting point every every nth unit from the sampling frame is selected option b a non probability strategy is used making the results difficult to generalize option c the researchers has a certain quota of respondents to fill for various literary groups and option d every unit of the population has an equal chance of being selected so the correct answer is option d of every unit of the population has an equal chance to being selected now question number 89 it is helpful to use a multi stage cluster sample ban option a the population is widely dispersed geographically option b you have limited time and money available for traveling option c you want to use a probability sample in order to generalize the result and option d all of the above all of the above is the correct answer option d now question number 90 the standard error is a statistical measure of option a the normal distribution of scores around the sample mean option b the extent to which a sample mean is likely to differ from the population mean option c the clustering of scores at each end of survey scale and option d the degree which a sample has been accurately set strategy field so the correct answer of this question is uh, option b the extent to which a sample mean is likely to differ from the population mean now dear friend question number 91 this is the second last question of this video to yadi aapko is prakar ke question pasand aaye to inhe zyada se zyada like kariye share kariye aur yadi aap channel ko liye hain to please isse subscribe kariye bell icon ko press kariye 
ताकि इस प्रकार के वीडियो जब भी अपलोड हों तो उनका नोटिफिकेशन आप तक पहुंच सके वाट इफेक्ट डज इंक्रीजिंग द सैम्पल साइज हैव अपॉन द सैम्पलिंग एरर ऑप्शन ए इट रिड्यूज द सैम्पलिंग एरर ऑप्शन बी इट इंक्रीज द सैम्पलिंग एरर ऑप्शन सी इट हैज नो इफेक्ट ऑन द सैम्पलिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द एव सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इट रिड्यूज द सैम्पलिंग एरर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट टाइप ऑफ नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन ए स्नो वॉल सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन बी स्ट्रेटिफाइड रेंडम सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन सी कोटा सैम्पलिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी कन्वीनियंस सैम्पलिंग सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी स्ट्रेटिफाइड फाइड रेंडम सैम्पलिंग आई होप कि आपको इस प्रकार के क्वेश्चन पसंद आए होंगे थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो